Hello everyone, this is Sean Broccoli here, and in today's video we will be completing episode 1 of the Scale 4. So I was thinking of putting out these videos as a quick walkthrough for all the episodes as well as the achievements as I work on them. Uh, the one thing that I will note is that I have been playing this already and I've made it up to episode 5. So during this video I'm going to be a lot higher level than you would be at this at that point until you reach around level 5 or episode 5 sorry uh, but for the most part I stick to the playstyle that you will need to do so I, I won't just be charging in Rambo style with my character and just slaughtering everything I'll kind of sit back lure enemies etc um, I'll also kind of point out tips and tricks as well as things that I do do wrong in, in the video um, so I'll go ahead and get started here I've left the cutscenes so I will keep quiet until the cutscenes are over after death the souls of human sinners are sent to Hades when they arrive in Hades the netherworld's prison they are processed to become prinnies at the Prinny Factory. The Prinnies go through extensive training in Hades before being sent off to the Netherworld or Celestia. They are to work diligently in a strict and harsh environment until they can pay for their sins. There you all are. You've gathered here just as I ordered. Yes, sir! Just as you ordered, dude! Excellent. Now listen up, Prinnies. Today is your very last day in Hades. You have all died and were sent to Hades. Why is that? Because we committed crimes, dude! That's right. You're lowly criminals. And who educated you peons who didn't even know how to speak like a printing? Lord Balbatorius, dude! Correct. I've raised you all to become great printings so that you can be shipped out to the netherworld at any time. Today is the day you've been waiting for. Today, you will go forth and work hard to pay for your sins. Alright, so the first bit is going to be the tutorial. I'm not, not really going to go too much into it. Uh, there's not really much to say. Just follow the instructions. You'll be able to complete it pretty quickly. Uh, you'll just want to quickly dispatch the printies as fast as possible. There's no real strategy to do it, just walk up to them and attack them. They'll go down pretty easily. I'm not completely sure, but I think I skip the other aspects of the tu tutorial. I believe there's two other tutorial le levels, uh, but I'm just going to skip right to the, the first uh, part of episode one. message to all of you Prennies. You finally completed all of my lessons. No matter what kind of masters you might serve, never forget your pride at being Prennies from Hades! And lastly, keep in mind that any fool who messes up and gets sent back to Hades will be met with a brutal rehabilitation program. Aye, aye, dude! That's the response I like to hear. Allow me to fulfill the promise that I made to you. You shall each receive one sardine. They were raised naturally, freshly caught this morning. Yeah, dude! Sweet, dude! You the man, Lord Val, dude! <laughs> Making such a ruckus over a single sardine. These prinnies have been well deprived by our lord. Hmm. Now, prinnies, enjoy your sardine and go work hard under your future mess. <laughs> Hey, 
Jesus is going on here? There's only one idiot who could do such a thing without your permission, my lord. It's unacceptable. How am I going to keep the promise I made to the Prinnies? Let's go, Fenric. We need to get those Prinnies back. Understood. All is for my lord. to my lord. I must make my move now. Alright, so we'll go ahead and move on now. Uh, I did screw up in one aspect where I said that I skipped over the tutorials parts. Um, I actually do go back and do the re rehabilitation room, uh, which will be one part of the tutorial. Uh, this one is pretty straightforward. It's just kind of going over the geo blocks and the the squares there so originally I was just gonna bulldoze my way through this just to quickly finish it but as you see I will kind of turn around or I'll, I'll stop at the last enemy and then I'll attempt to do it the way that you'll probably want to do it or at least you, you may want to do it this way. I don't know if you really get the experience doing it the other way. But I'll go over it. It's a pretty simple um, way to solve the map, I guess. So this will be the part where I, I decide against killing the final enemy. So we're going to... Bring out um, show you power. Valvadores. We're gonna send him over to that green geo block, and we're just gonna pick it up and throw it into the the blue area. Brace yourself. So then we'll get Fenrich out, and we'll go ahead and attack that green block. That green block will turn all the blue squares into green. And in doing so, it will destroy the red box and turn everything red. And the red box will destroy the blue box. Which will turn everything blue. And then that will destroy the box at the back behind the final enemy. And that will do significant... That will kill all the printies and it will do significant damage to the last remaining enemy. Sit here and watch it happen. Now, as you can see, there's only a sliver of health left, and we've got the bonus bar pretty much. Well, it, it, I think it is full at this point, but. Uh, so we just finish off that enemy, and you can see that. Uh, we got all the bonuses there. <laughs> so, you're finally here. so now we'll head over to the, the the actual. I think that's the first one, or maybe it counts as the second one. I don't know. What do you expect me to do about the sardine situation? Watch your mouth. What do you think helped your worthless vampire teeth after you lost all your power? Before you start acting all pretty and structury, you should think carefully about your place here. Give me back those damn printies! That's not asking, that's ordering, and you're not being polite at all. I'm the Warden of Hades. I control everything around here. If you keep that attitude up, don't think I won't lock you up too. I only want to keep the promise I made to the prince. I have no intention of defying your power. Just shut up and get back. Why don't you get it? I'm not giving the prince back to you. What did you say? Are you telling me to break the promise that I made to the prince? You, you don't scare me. I've been through much worse and survived to get where I am now. I'm Warden. Axel, Axel, you cretin. Why can't you just calm down for a minute? 
My lord simply wishes to keep the promise he made to the Prinnies. Don't you understand that? If you dare to refuse us, then we'll have to resort to violence to force you to understand. Agreed! He who doesn't understand words must be given physical discipline. Prepare yourself, Warden Axel. You will learn that I have no intention of disobeying you. Alright, so this map, there's nothing too crazy about this. Uh, what you'll pretty much want to do is bring out your cast of characters, go up to that first guy and attack him. Now the next, you'll want to kind of surround him. I wouldn't go too far. Uh, I kind of go a little too far. Um, basically the enemies, they generally don't move towards you unless you're within their their range so if you just kind of stay back you can kind of lure them one or two at a time and and just outnumber them take them out easily it's it's not like they're too strong you can probably take them out with two people Again, obviously you won't be doing as much damage as I am doing. To kind of give you guys, the, I guess, the best, closest thing, I've chosen my least powerful characters to go through this, which are still close to level 20, the high teens. Didn't you just beat the crap out of me? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but don't most folks consider that disobedience? My only wish is to stay true to my word. Now, give me back the prinnies. Sorry, but that's a no-can-do. Because that's the Corruptorment's will. What? Corruptorment? What could they possibly be up to? Oh, that? Mass extermination of the Prinnies! You get it, right? The rapid increase in the Prinny population is starting to be a major problem all over the netherworld. Food shortages, unemployment, noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, decreased test scores. These are all the Prinnies' fault. The Corruptorman has organized a special task force to get rid of them. The Abaddon. A band of assassins brought together and under the command of none other than the Netherworld President himself. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're Netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the Corruptorman's rubbish. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be jobless and broke once all the Prinnies are gone. What about the sardines? What should I do with all the sardines I promised to give them? I don't see what the problem is. What's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow-minded fool. The promise has already been made. Until I keep my promise, no one gets the prinnies. I don't care if you're the corrupter men or, or even the president. Please calm down, my lord. It's dangerous to carry on in your usual moronic fashion while confronting the corrupter men. What is this? Is my faithful servant scared of a mere corrupter men? Not even. But I do have a mission of my own. And in order to complete it, I can't afford to lose you in a fight over such an insignificant matter, my lord. So you're telling me to obey them, and to break the promise I made? All is for my lord. Poppycock! How many times do I have to tell you that for a demon, breaking a promise isn't? I am fully aware of your noble yet ultimately futile philosophy. However, please, think back about all of the things that you've lost just to keep the promises that you've made in the past. If only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your throne as the invincible tyrant in no time. Let's not talk about that. Now come, Fenric, before the Prinnies are disposed of. Hmm. 
I position All right, so now we'll head to the, and the question if this third. All of my effort will be a total waste if that happens. I gotta take control of this situation before those fools really get out of hand. You, are you the Warden of Hades? Yes, sir. I am Axel, the Warden of Hades. I was personally appointed by the President. We are the President's Special Assassination Task Force. Have you been briefed on the current situation? Yeah, of course. To make your jobs easier, I gathered all those worthless pieces of garbage into one area. Barbecue, boil, broil, bake, saute. Do whatever you want to them. Great. Glad you're making this easier for us. It's the Assassination Task Force, also known as the Abaddon. I hope they're as powerful as their namesake. <laughs> Here you are again. They're like moths that singe their wings by flying too close to the fire. Gentlemen of the Special Task Force, they're the anarchists who are trying to stop the pretty extermination. Over here! Please exterminate all the annoying rats, too! Hmm. As you wish. Huh? What are you doing? We received an anonymous tip about possible anarchist activity. About a warden whose love for prinnies has driven him to public expressions of dissent against the corruptorment. You've already confessed, said you were aware of the situation, and were eager for us to enforce the punishment. What? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> you! How dare you do this to me! That is so admirable of you, Warden. You've been strict, but you actually care a lot about the Britties. Oh, I am humbled by your overwhelming love for the Prinnies. I am so ashamed for thinking otherwise of you. Is that right? I never suspected that you cared so much about the Prinnies. Warden, I accept and understand your passion toward the Prinnies. Therefore, it has been decided. The Warden is an anarchist. What shall we do, my lord? He appears to be in need of our assistance. Is there even any doubt? We can't possibly forsake a man of such passion. I knew you were going to say that. Y you guys will help me? Well, wait a second! This is all just a mistake in the first place! Let us fight together, Ward and Axel, to release the Prinnies, and for their promise, the Sardines! Your back is wide open. Alright, so this level, or stage, is going to play out pretty much like that first one. You're going to want to pick up the geo block and then just throw it onto the green oh, area gotcha. and then have a character destroy it as the other one where it's going to change the color of the, the squares on the ground and it's gonna destroy the three blocks that are on the ground as well causing a chain well I guess it doesn't blow up the last one right. in any case uh, it'll leave all the enemies very weak so you just have to go and finish them off 
Uh, you also have Axel and his two. Well, I think there was two, uh, but now now there's one cat. Show you sardine power. Yeah. So th they'll do some damage to the enemies as well. Not as much, but. I got this. So obviously you just want to get rid of the the little cats monsters first. One advice I'll give to you, I guess, if you're if you're playing this, is don't be stingy with your special attacks. For some reason, I f don't use special attacks that often, and I think that's kind of a, a flaw in the way that I play. Because those are definitely going to be your most powerful moves, and they'll dispatch enemies a lot quicker than just your basic attack. But I don't know, I, I guess the same logic with like potions and other items, you kind of just hoard them and save them until you quote, need them. Which, you never need, you never end up needing them that much. Or I guess, I guess technically you do need them, but you never end up using them when you need them because you think there's, there's going to be a, a more of a need later on. The Abaddon. Just so you know, we are subordinates of the Warden. We're not allowed to disobey his orders. It's the only reason we fought. Be sure to include that in your report to your superiors. What? No, no, no! This is a mistake! Well now, must have been the Abaddon scouting crew. What shall we do now, my lord? Attack the Abaddon main forces! We will keep fighting for the release of the Prinnies! <laughs> His tyrant blood is starting to boil for the first time in ages. How absolutely delightful. Very well, let's hurry before the Corruptimate receives word about the Warden's rebellion. You're right! We can't let them find out. Wait! I didn't do anything wrong! I suppose I can spare the time to explain it to you. Your father is the Netherworld president because he earned it with his own power and abilities. It has nothing to do with you. Your prestigious bloodline comes from your ancestors' efforts. It has nothing to do with you. That being said, I have no reason to prostrate myself before you. That's the reason. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. He is a mere well, my lord. Yo, yo, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself! Don't you, don't you fear the name of the president? Absolutely not! They're 
only two things in this entire world that I fear. Small sardine bones that get stuck in my gums and breaking promises. The president is neither one of them. Alright, to quickly backtrack, because I was too busy talking about the potions, uh, after the you deal with the cats, um, those, those guys will kind of walk in and you, you'll just finish off the, the bodyguards. You'll want to outnumber them like normal. Now to the this one, you're going to want to do the exact kind of same thing. Uh, pick up the geo block, throw it into the, the square there, and have a character blow it up. It's going to cut, this one will cause a chain reaction with all the boxes. And it will pretty much decimate the entire board here. I think there's just maybe one or two enemies that end up surviving. As long as you stay in that little, that square that doesn't have any of the geo panels. None of those enemies will move forward as well. Alright, so... As you see, those are the two surviving enemies. I guess the one guy does actually move forward, but no matter, uh, you can quickly kill him on a counter. So the last thing you'll need to do is just go up to the, the last guy and finish him off. As soon as you reach um, the steps, or at least the square in front of the steps, uh, that, that should get him moving towards you. Yeah. And that's all there is to that stage. them to submit H how can you be so strong what kind of cheap trick did you use <laughs> my lord's strength is unquestionable that's because he is the sardine say what you want to know the secret to my power it's the sardine Eat them, and you will get stronger. What are you talking about? Why would I eat sardines? You dumb bastard! I hate fish! Damn it! Let's get back to the main force! Listen up! This ain't over! I'll get you next time for sure! You got that? That was a picture-perfect loser call-out. Simply exquisite. Oh no! My only opportunity! We've upset the president's son! He was really pissed! <laughs> I can't believe those powerless blowhards were actually appointed to the president's special task force. They have an ominous sounding name, but as far as I could tell, they're just babysitters for that insufferable brat. Oh, the Netherworld has become quite a tepid place while I was away. It's rather disappointing. still have no idea how much this netherworld has fallen. That is why you must now take over the netherworld. All is for my lord. Man, the radicals finally showed. I give you props for showing up instead of just running away. And how dare you bark that nonsense after running away like a coward? Oh, seems like you guys still. 
still don't know your place. This is your last chance. Either apologize and surrender, or take a beating and surrender. The choice is yours. Either way, your rebellion ends here, with me laying the smackdown upon you. So take your pick now. This is it. I won't get a better chance than right now. Better not miss it. I don't want to die yet. Sir Azel, your highness, please help me. Wow. Everyone, look over there. The warden is determined to take the head of his arch enemy, Death of Azel. to risk his own life for the pretties? His passion is indubitable! Oh, it's enough to bring tears to my eyes! Does he care for the pretties that much? I won't say a thing, Axel. Take him down so they can play your victory music! Huh? Is he coming after me? No! It's a... it's a mistake! Do that to Ward and Axel. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> huh. But wait, this ain't right. My weapon shouldn't. Ward and Axel, you'll always live on in my heart. Ipache Equiscat. Axel, I shall carry on your legacy. I shall release those damn prinnies in your name! Prinnies? You guys are rebelling against the corrupterment for the prinnies? Huh. Yeah, so? Are you stupid? Prinnies are just the rotten souls of humans! How could you risk your lives for them? They're totally whack! This is ridiculous! You still don't understand, huh? I pity you, rascal. Say what? Allow me to explain. There is a path that I must follow, no matter what others say to me. The path to believing in myself. This battle isn't about the Prinnies. This battle is about keeping the promise that I made. This is a battle for sardines! So this is the final stage of the episode. So this one is a bit challenging. What you'll want to do is bring out all your characters. And what you want to do is not pass the first line of um, bodyguards. Because if you really move any further than that, you'll end up triggering the... Uh, the two healers and uh, and death as well and you, you kind of don't want to get them involved it'll make the battle a, a much harder than it has to be so you'll sit back you can fight those two guys uh, you probably won't kill them in one turn but uh, But that's fine as long as they're not being healed. Uh, when you end the turn, obviously those two guys, as you saw, will at the back they'll come in and attack you as well. So you want to dispatch those guys as well. And as you can see here, because I I went on that line, I triggered that one healer to come and attack uh, I'll just show you quickly the uh, the range so you want to keep 
an extra square away because if, if you're uh, one square if you're in front of the final square that they can I guess move to they'll move and attack you so you'll you just want to get rid of the bodyguards first then you can move forward and deal with the healers and death Uh, th death is mostly the one that you need to worry about. He's the one that's going to do high damage, magic damage. It is possible that uh, you might be able to just lure as you saw that one area I moved the one character to that uh, to that line where I guess it was within range of the the healer and the one healer moved but the other didn't so it's you probably could lure both healers to you without activating death there and then you can deal with death alone after that'll probably be your best bet for defeating the boss there Alright, and that is it for episode one. Looks like that was it. Now release the prinnies. Oh, why should I? Why should I do that? You know that the prinny population has grown so large, it's causing a bunch of problems in the netherworld, don't you? First of all, prinnies are straight up criminal. Who cares if they're gone? Well, what's the big deal? It takes a pretty hundreds of years to pay off its sins. The whole netherworld will be destroyed at this rate. That's why we have to get rid of them. There's no other way. Fenric. Yes, my lord. As you command. Whoa! I thought I was dead for sure, dude. Don't relax just yet. The Corruptament has decided to exterminate all Prinnies. What? <laughs> Are you serious, dude? But you're gonna help us, right? I promise to give each of you a sardine, but once that promise is fulfilled, what happens next is none of my concern. <laughs> no way, dude! You gotta help us! Well, unfortunately, my schedule is all booked up. I don't have time to be meddling with you Prinnies. I have to go straighten up our irresponsible president and our rotten corruptiment. What, dude? You, 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 you gotta be kidding me. You couldn't even do that in your wildest dreams, idiot. The corruptiment of the real idiots. Huh? The increasing is because the corruptiment has slacked off on scaring the humans to keep them in line. Exterminating the Prinnies while putting themselves on a pedestal isn't going to solve anything in the long run. This place will soon be filled with the souls of rotten humans once again. Well, that's... If the Corruptorman can't even see that, then we're headed to a worldwide crisis. That is why I must go! To awaken the President from his delusions! You care a lot about the netherworld, dude! But you should think about us and help us out, dude! <laughs> As our pretty instructor! As your pretty instructor? What could possibly be bothering you, my lord? The pretties aren't worth saving. With only two options, so choose whichever you like. Get exterminated by the Corruptiment, or become our Lord's loyal vassals. I 
I won't let the Corruptimen exterminate you if you become my vassals. I'll promise you that. However, being my vassals won't be easy. But I'm sure you'll be able to pay off your sins much faster. Roger that, dude! We'll be your loyal vassals from now on! Anywhere you go, we'll follow you down! But not that far, dude! You heard that, didn't you, rascal? Now run along home and tell your father. If your rotten brain has forgotten the spirit that makes proud demons, I, Valvatores, shall make you remember. And this is how demons from Hades, the Netherworld's prison, arose to his mission. His name is Valvatores, the tyrant. And he has boldly taken the first step towards stopping the wheel of corruption. you right here right now that I'll never forget the passion and bravery that led you to your death farewell Axel take this as my tribute to your memory my lord is that a sardine head I heard they're used to repel evil in some parts of the human world that might be taken as an offense rather than a kind offer. Oh well. Hey you! What the hell do you think you're doing helping the Prinnies? What you've done is unforgivable. This means war. War, I say! We, the Prinny Exterminators, declare an all-out war against you! Pretty exterminators make a sudden appearance. A shocking truth is revealed. The kanji for the word sardine is a combination of the characters fish and weak. What is going on here? Are you talking about sardines again? Some say that's because sardines weaken quickly after they're taken out of the water. That is absolutely not true. They're nutritious and are even used to repel evil thanks to their potent smell. They couldn't possibly be weak. From now on, Let's officially make the combination of fish and strong the correct kanji spelling for sardine. Oh, by the way, sardina is sardine in Russian. Next time, episode two, Hell's legendary sardine roll. Eat sardines to power up, dog. Just don't cry to me. Hey, don't ignore me! Ugh, I won't stand for this! Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next video with episode 2, dude.